it's book haul time. It's been a really long time actually since my last book haul on this channel, so I'm very excited to do a haul for you and um, have a lot of books to feature today. And the reason I've got so many books kind of a random um, occasion, because it's not like I actually need any books, so I have a huge to be read pile. But um, I had a lot of reward points on my credit cards. I decided it's about time to uh, uh, redeem them for something. Anyway, I was looking at all the options. Um, one of them was a gift card to Barnes and Noble, and I actually had enough to get a hundred dollar gift card to Barnes and Noble, which I believe is the biggest gift card I've ever had to a bookstore. So I was very excited um, for that. Also, like any book lover would, uh, having a hundred dollar gift card to a bookstore. So what I decided to do was to mainly um, get books to finish out series that I'm currently reading. Because a lot of times when I'm reading a series, I might just get one or two books at a time in that series and, you know, slowly finish out the series that way. Uh, but I thought, you know, with a $100 gift card, it'd be a good chance to just go ahead and buy all the books and some series I was reading. And that way, I, you know, I would have to wait, kill any time in between um, going to get the next book in the series after I finish the present one I am reading. But um, the gift card is actually big enough that I was able to get a few standalone books as well. So here is my um, Barnes & Noble book haul video. So first off, I got uh, A Game of Thrones, which I already had this book and I've read and really love it. But um, the version I have of the book was this bigger paperback version. And the um, other uh, books I got in the series is all more of the smaller paperbacks version. So I decided to get the smaller paperback version and I'm going to get rid of this one. So I'm really OCD about that liking all my books in the series to match up. So this one is actually the only book that I got at the Barnes & Noble uh, today that is actually one I already had. So that's the only occasion that will happen. But um, much like I mentioned um, earlier about trying to finish up the series, there's um, the other books I got in this series are the ones I haven't read yet, so um, in no particular order, this is the order they were stacked up. A Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. So I'm um, very excited to um, read those books because so far I've really enjoyed the series a lot. Next up, I have the last book in the Forgotten Legion series by Ben Cain, The Road to Rome. Really enjoyed the first two books in the series. It um, kind of um, follows the storyline of a couple low-ranking soldiers in the Roman army as they um, go through some adventures. Um, really interesting. It has a, a unique historical fiction aspect to it that also draws in some supernatural, supernatural elements. Um, so I really enjoyed the first two books. I'm really looking forward to this book, The Road to Rome by Ben Cain. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, next two books I'll be reading, I'm sorry, featuring in the hall, were um, books in the Ender's Game series. Um, that is um, Shadow of the Giant and Shadows in Flight. Um, of course, both by or Orson Scott Card. And I've really enjoyed that series so again. Finishing out the series of books with my gift card. And the um, next books I got are actually all standalone books. So these are the ones after I um, tallied up how much money I spent, I realized I still had some um, money available on my gift card. So I got a few standalone books I've had my eye on. So first up um, is S.M. Sterling's uh, Island in the Sea of Time. Now I know this is not a standalone book, but this is actually the first book in the series of um, a novel of the, the change. And I've always heard good things about this series, so I decided I'm going to read the first book and see if I like it. If not, if I do, I'll we'll go ahead and proceed with this series. So, um, Island, in the sea, Island in the Sea of Time by S.M. Sterling. <laughs> then, um, I got The Android's Dream by John Scalzi. I've read Red Shirts by John Scalzi, and I really, really loved it. And I've heard a lot of great things about some other Scalzi book, so I decided to give this one a try, and if um, if I like this one, they'll make it two for two for Scalzi, and I'll definitely look into doing more of his books, because I know he has um, several that are supposed to be very, very good. So, The Android's Dream by John Scalzi. And the last book I got is a um, Star Wars book. It's actually the first Star Wars book I have got in a long time. It is Tarkin by James Luceno. Um, I'm not mispronouncing the author's name. If I am, I apologize, but... 
really looking forward to this. Tarkin's always been a character I've been very fascinated by. Um, you know, he's featured um, somewhat prominently in A New Hope, but he kind of gets overlooked um, by a lot of casual movie fans. And in some of the um, Expanded Universe books, um, Tarkin's a character, and I've always enjoyed it when he's an element of the story. So um, I was very um, interested in reading a standalone book about this character I found interesting, but has never really got a ton of solo focus. So looking forward to this one. Hopefully that is a good book. And so those are the books I got in my Barnes & Noble gift card. So I was very happy with what I got with my $100 gift card. Um, ended up after all those books... <laughs> Um, all I really owed um, was, because I think before tax, it was like $99 or something. So I ended up and only had to pay like $5.89 for all those books. Um, so that was a very good deal. So that was definitely a great day for a, a book lover like me. So um, I will mention though, since I've got so many books, it'll be a while before I get any more books, unless I get a couple for Christmas gifts or something like that, because I have a huge to be read pile now. So. Um, a lot of books for me to read, so I guess I need to get to that. So, hope you enjoyed the haul, and I'll see you the next time.